Hi guys, welcome to the latest episode of Thylobytes. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the thylacine gate. Seriously pumped about uh, this particular video because it allows us to analyze a whole heap of uh, evidence, including historical alleged videos of thylacines running, but also prints in the mud and the sand and the snow to see whether they actually match up with the gate. So here we go. Let's have a look at the thylacine gate. In this animation, we can see the thylacine walking from left to right. So this is a, a GIF that we've taken from a popular website and it's basically been animated. You can see quite an awkward looking gate here from the thylacine, in particular the back part where there's a little bit of a, a bump every few steps where the thylacine sort of uh, walks somewhat awkwardly and that matches the description of what people have historically said about the thylacine and this animation is taken from uh, the Paddle uh, book on thylacine. So Paddle 2000 is the reference and it's been converted and it appears on a couple of internet sites including the, the TRU Facebook page. So let's slow that down and see what it looks like. So here we have the thylacine gate built into phases and there's eight phases importantly you can see phase one both of the feet are on the ground here but they're not together so when we look at this people say that they they may run sort of awkwardly which they do but also do they run like a kangaroo or well, kangaroos feet are together uh, and here they aren't um, together but both are definitely on on the ground at the same time and that actually happens you can see here one two times out of the eight uh, cycles, so 25% of the time the thylacine has got its rear pads touching the ground. And what you can also see importantly here is that the heel at no stage in the walking right, is actually touching the ground. Now it might stop and shuffle forward, but in its general walking gait, the heel is definitely off the ground. So the most common uh, mistaken animal, dog, Here's the dog gate, and you can see that it only has a one and eight, both rear feet on the ground, but you can actually see more often, in terms of three and nine, right, it actually has its feet closer together. So if you're actually looking at it running, it would actually probably have a closer uh, appearance to uh, a, a, a kangaroo in terms of it pushing forward based on its rear legs in comparison to the thylacine, which would look much more awkward. So that's all we have for this episode of Thylobites. I hope it's increased your knowledge on the gate of the thylacine. Talk to you soon.